I would like to show you how to fold a simple tulip bow, which I created some time ago. Uh, we can use it to store some small objects. It has color change, so you can use paper which has different colors on one side and other side. And all of these are made from 15 cm square. I will show you how to cut pentagon from square. Uh, if you have a template, like I have, uh, mine is from aluminium, but you can have from, from, from different materials. You can even print your pentagon on copy paper and then cut it out. Doesn't matter. Uh, the method which I will show you uh, we need square for it and uh, we will fold it's an approximative method that means that it's not completely precise but it's enough for most of the models I know. So first we fold like this, we fold it in half, now we bring one corner back we fold here, we just make a small pinch mark, uh, which we will later use. We open, I will mark the pinch mark so you can see it better. And now we fold long edge back. And we mark again at the place where the first pinch mark was, because we want intersection of those two folds, as you can see here. Now we will bring the corner, which is farther from the pinch marks, cross. We bring that corner and pay attention, don't use the corner where the two layers are separate, use closed corner. So we bring closed corner there, then we bring this shorter part back here and we fold. Now we bring this part to divide this big segment and the last fold is that we bring this edge to this edge to create mountain fold. Pay attention to your tip so all the lines should cross there. Now, from one side it looks like this, from other side it looks like this, and we will cut along this, the closest to the tip of this object. So we use the edge as our guideline and we cut away. Now we've got pentagon, if you open you have all these lines. For this model, I prefer to have those lines as valley folds on the back side of the paper. So I will make a bowl which has patterned paper inside, as you can see here. So this is my outside color, this one. And I want, I change all the lines so that they are all valley folds on this side. Now we are going to fold uh, this part down in between the ends of these lines like this and we go all around. So we repeat four five times I would say that more important in this case is that these parts are nicely touching than really 100% precision here around the tip because this tip should follow the line that you normally 
follow the line, but sometimes you have a bit of imprecision and then it is a bit shifted. It doesn't matter. We turn around and we do the same. We will again fold between those two folds. We fold the, the tip as we did before down. Here it's even more important that those parts are kind of nice and closing, closed, not with a big gap like this, that would be too big gap. So if that happened, just adjust it. So we have this and one last fold, we are going to follow this line and we fold along that edge. The short fold goes only from here to the tip of the triangle and it goes through all layers. And we repeat it on all of them. Only at the, always at the same side. So always only here. I don't fold the other part. Only the same part. If we did it five times, we unfold all of these, we open, we turn the bottle over and now if you look carefully there is a mountain fold followed by valley fold. What we need to do now is that we need to change this valley fold into mountain fold. What I do is that I just simply pinch like this and now important step we try to look carefully what's going on here. We will push this mountain part in and at the same time we will fold this part back. So it creates something like this. This is one part of our bowl already done. Other possibility how to do it and I open it after. It's easier to first make one after one and only in the end make them without opening. So, and it's maybe easier for some of you if you push it and make it like this as if this was inside of our bowl. Because the fold is the same, it only, if we push the paper, if we force the paper to go this direction then this will be inside of the bowl and this part will be outside and that's what we want for the bowl because otherwise the bowl will not be nicely finished it has it will have this part standing out but can be as a another possibility how to finish it but right now it doesn't matter if you do it like this or if you do it like this. Okay, so I have two more left. Open, change the line, push in of the paper. I was already at every place, so I can keep this one closed. And now I continue. Again, it can happen that your fold is not nice here, nicely clean. It's easy to fix. You just push from inside so the paper is nice. And we are almost done. There are only last some last options for finishing. The first option is you can finish with the bottom which is not creased or you can make a creases there. For some of them sometimes it's nicer when you don't have any creases there. It looks very more like flower without strong creases. 
but it's easy to do if you prefer to have the, um, the ball which is not wobbling a bit. So you just add uh, creases between here and here. You just crease the paper here, and go around, crease again. So this is the one possibility. Another possibility if you want to create something like this, which can be also used as a bowl, maybe more... Hmm. Just looking a bit differently. Or you can use it even like this. Uh, it's quite interesting shape. Doesn't matter. Uh, for To do this, uh, you just fold. You add mountain fold here in this part. You fold between two points. And you repeat it all around. So then you will get this one. But what I do like for my tulip box is the final shaping of the petals when you curl them around some stick or pen or whatever there is. I don't like to do it around the scissors bit because scissors can damage paper. Especially here where, when, where there is um, several layers of paper. So use whatever has kind of soft, not too sharp edge. And we are finished. Thank you for watching and folding.